Hello, hello everyone. It is Becky and it's Monday, February 13th. So, yesterday we got down to like the last four numbers in here. So I'm going to use these four up and I'm going to pull one from out of here. Just mix, I'm going to mix them up, and I will pull one from here, and then tonight, <clears throat> I think I'm just going to um, redo my list, and uh, I'll just draw them out of a jar. So... These are not our numbers. But we've got our Marguerite Miller challenge to do. I've got my Roxy Paper altered card to do. I do need to make another 6x6 six six journal. So we got lots of things to do. Number 33. I've done swept the floor this morning. I got the carpet cleaner out and I cleaned the carpet. So I've been a busy, busy lady already. All right, number 35. Well, first, let's see what 14 is. It says the large sticker pack. And see, I think some of these are in here multiple times. <laughs> um, is that 33? Yes, 33 is a cat. And didn't we? Oh, I just chose a cat. I was going to say, didn't we just do a cat? But I think that was a choice rather than orange. That could be a color or the fruit or fruit, as my daughter used to say. See, look. <laughs> orange. 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 47 is orange. <laughs> so we got orange on there twice. 65 garden hmm <laughs> should I draw another one let's see what 53 is polka dots we could do polka dots I got orange polka dots It was for, uh, 74. It was a boy. <laughs> uh, okay. Let me see what I can round up and we'll see what we're going to do today. Back in a minute. All right. I have pulled some things. I have just about every kind of color of polka dots. These are about as orange as I could get. <laughs> so, I grabbed some things. I have an idea. <laughs> I think I want this to be our bottom page here. Um, ba do ba do ba do. I think I want this to be like our background piece. All right, let's see. My bottles came yesterday. It's about half the size of this one. <laughs> like how long would that, that size bottle last me? 
because I'm refilling this one relatively quickly. What's for supper tonight, you guys? We are going to have beans, ham and bean soup, and cornbread. What do you guys usually have with your uh, beans? Some people have fried potatoes. Some people have cottage cheese. I think the beans themselves. And the cornbread is more than enough. More than enough for dinner. And I was sitting there looking. I have mine um, all in um, mason jars, my beans. So I have like a, what is it, a two cup jar, 16 ounces. And uh, I thought, well, that's not going to be enough. So I found a little bitty jar of like the Great Northern. Like I have a mix of like the bean mix. So I thought, well, this little two cups here ain't going to be enough. So I found a little bit more and I put in there. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting that those beans plump up <laughs> in the water. So now I've got enough in there to feed an army. So if y'all want to come to dinner, <laughs> get on over here. Start traveling now. And I found these two kitty cats. I was thinking I want to do these two bigger ones. Like these two. I'm going to put them down here maybe. I'm going to put them on last. Let me see. So we've got our cat. We've got our orange polka dots. Now I need to do some orange in the garden. So my thought was to dig around in here and find me some orange flowers. Like here's the orange. Find me some orange flowers for my garden. And just make me a garden out of flowers. And then for my large, for the large sticker pack, we will, I'm pretty sure, find something, I'm sure. Like a blank piece. Needs to go in the trash. I'm just going to dig out some little flowers here. Oh, those little pink roses are cute. Alright, I found me some flowers. And really large sticker packs. I think is like the ones I used the other day and I am actually going to use the flat sticker packs. So let's start creating our garden down here. some color I 
You should see the cats in the other room. They, um, I guess the carpet's still a little wet. I got the fan going to help dry it. Curls up in front of the TV on the credenza. We've got like a book stand thing there. And the TV's on that, so she's up on in front. Emma's on one of the rocking chair. Mulder is on the back of the couch. Charlie's just... See, here's one of those stickers. This has the sticky. And this doesn't now. Allie was in here. But she may be on the other rocker, I think. And who's that lady? Dana. I think she was in there on the organ. Usually these are a little bit easier. Not today. Not today. Oh, I was going the wrong direction, I guess. Let's see. I'll put this rose up here. We'll just let it float in the middle of the page because our kitty, our kitties are going to be about right there. So they'll cover some of this up. Sounds like one of the kitties is going outside. Look at me putting all these flowers down and not an orange one yet. Guess I need to be getting the orange. We'll put this up here. <clears throat> I'm going to put this, these guys down there. Yes. Let's put my glue is blowing snot bubbles. Okay, my little kitties. Oh, yes. I must get into... All right. Large sticker packs. I was thinking I was done, but no, we are not. We're going to put... Some 
butterflies into the mix. Here's an orange one. Let's use an orange for our color orange. Let's see here. Mr. Butterfly, where you want to live? You want to live right here? Okay. So let me put these butterflies back in here. <clears throat> so they can not get crushed. And we can use them again another another time. Alright. Put up these extra flowers. So we have orange polka dots, the color orange, garden, cat, and we use the large stickers. So that's our large page for the day. There. <clears throat> Let me find my glue stick. You should have saw my desk yesterday. It was a mess. You should have seen the floor. It was a bigger mess. Cutting all the dye, the dyes out. for our Quaker granola box journal. All right, page one done. What do you think? It's so cute. I like these butterflies. All right, let me clean my desk up and we'll move on to project number two. Alright, I've cleaned up my desk and I have pulled the corresponding number supplies. So, here's number 65. Which was our garden. This one is our orange polka dots. This one was the cat. This one is the color orange. <laughs> and then the, I actually had to pull out the large sticker books because that was the other number. So let me see what we have over here. something out of there. I don't know. Or something out of here. Sweet 
day I had I had to clean up a mess in the kitchen my beans boiled over I had the lid cracked on it and my husband comes back around behind me and puts it all the way down and of course it boiled over so I was in there cleaning up the floor I think I'll use maybe that one. Move those out of the way. Let's see what's in here, shall we? I'm kind of thinking of vacation vibes. this typewriter yeah, I want to put the typewriter at the top Flip it around because I can't see. Oh, look. I thought the whole page would come out. So I can pick and choose what I want. Do with the typewriter. I probably got it up higher than I anticipated. Now, can I get this back in there? Probably not. You know what? I am going to take off hang on I'm not liking this it's messing me up I'm not liking this at all this like that let me have it this is going to be one of them days one of those days alright I'm messing my page up so bad I'm messing it up let me, let me cut around this This is going to be that day full of errors. what's in here that we can use. For our vacation. It's like we're taking pictures 
on vacation. I don't know about you guys, but when we went to Charleston, South Carolina, my daughter and I were just taking pictures of the scenery of all the flowers. Um, we took pictures of some of the door knockers that they had. So I'm going to put these like that. kind of car do we want to drive on vacation? A little sporty car, you think? How about this blue one? Looks like a Mustang to me. Okay, next up, and see, I'm going to take these out and put them over with the other ones. Oh, aren't these bunnies cute? I think I'm going to go for the mushrooms. Going for some mushrooms. Or a mushroom. There's a pair of mushrooms right there. Momo, was you being bad? postage stamp to mail our postcard back home. <laughs> Did we go to Stockholm? That looks like a good one. No, I want one with a little bit of color to it. Let's find us a different color. One that's going to stand out. Looking at this green one, these green ones. I'm thinking one of these. Who's back there? Is Charlie back there? Momo, is Charlie back there? He probably is. He likes sleeping back in that corner. And you're too big to get back there, aren't you? All right, here's our second page, our mini collage. I'm gonna call that one done. We'll put our date on it. didn't use nothing out of here, did we? And then, eventually, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make this ephemera holder. It's relatively easy. And it can hold lots, lots. There 
everything. And I tend to forget about these. You see, then you flip it over. And I paper clip them, and I taped, I glued this, these together right here, but you can leave these unglued and use the inside there as more um, space to hold stickers or ephemera or whatever. So, but this is an easy... This is an easy, uh, pretty easy and quick to make, so that's on the agenda for a future project. So the 13th. So our next project is going to be A Marguerite Miller challenge. So let me round up those things and meet right back here in just a few minutes. Okay, we're back for week seven of the Marguerite Miller. I got a hair in my mouth. Week seven of the Marguerite Miller challenges. And it says we need something that squeaks or honks. I have a little hamster, they squeak. A cake, a pair of something, I got a pair of deuces. Something torn, math symbol, and as a bonus pattern paper. So I have this pattern paper that has chevrons on it. And I found in this book right here, this page, and it's got the time symbol. It says two times four, or two by fours. And it's got all these numbers, you know, 0 0.07. So that was kind of mathy to me. <laughs> so I'm going to use it. And I'm going to tear the part I need out. So that'll be the something torn. And I think I'm going to just glue this as my background paper. So, let me cut a little bit off the top. Let me see, maybe that much. Quite a bit to go on the side. Just kind of a little bit more off of the top or the bottom, whatever the case may be. Just a smidge more on the side. Just a smidge. A smidge. Define a smidge. This much is a smidge. Is that a smidge enough? Yes. 
looks good to me. So I'm going to glue this down. I think it's this weekend or actually I think it's starting tomorrow maybe the weather where like the thunderstorms and things are going to start heading in again all right I am just going to tear a portion of this. I'm going to save the rest. Put it back in the book in case I need math symbols again. little hamster Our hamster. I'll cut out our cake. We'll get fancy with the cake. Magazine at Goodwill, and that's where that came out of. All right, I want to distress this a little bit, but will I need to? Let me see. Squeaks cake, something torn. Yeah, I think I do. Maybe I want green this time. Let me find a green. I don't think I want this bright, bright green.
Okay. Let's see how we're going to lay this out. We could go like this. I at least want the two by four part of it. There. Probably something like that. What do you think? I was originally thinking about a duck or a goose because they honk. Honk, honk, honk. Yeah, I think I like it like that. Here, I left the tip off of my glue again. No! And then on the Roxy paper... Why do I keep calling her Roxy? It's Rachel and Sweet Bee Paper Co. Our two words are twilight and sad. I do have an idea in mind. So we're going to do that next. Alright, we're going to put this on next. cards on. I don't know why I can't sleep, but I've been up since 4.30-ish. Guess I got a lot of things on my mind. on our prompts next. And these are pretty easy collages once you figure out what you want to use for the prompts.
I'm going to cheat. I want to see what we need for next week. Although I still have all of last year's and the year before's to do. Let me see. Next week we need something that has a plug, a house, a photo of your family or a family member, a piece of a letter or a postcard, stitching, real drawn or stamped, and bonus cursive writing. Something with a plug. Hmm. So it gives me like a week to think about things. But I forget. <laughs> I forget before that. Before. So it's always a surprise come Monday. All right, something that squeaks or honks, a pair of something, something torn, a math symbol, and pattern paper and a cake. What do you think? I like it. I like the green a lot. Okay, next we'll do the Roxy or the Sweet Bee Paper altered card and then we'll decide what else we're going to do. All right, we're back, um, and we're going to work on the Sweet Bee Paper Co. Altered Plain Altered Card. It's not necessarily a altered plain card. It could be any kind of a card. So I have an idea. <laughs> I have an idea. this on this side no shall we I see busy I see busy one Get down, buddy. Go on. Go on. He says, Mom, I've done found all I could find to get into. It's your turn to babysit me. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> it's not. It's not my turn, Charlie. It's Momo's turn. Go see your big brother. Do you want to turn, Momo? He says, heck no. It's not my turn either. He says, it is not my turn. Not my circus, not my monkey. It is your monkey.
So the two words were twilight and sad. So I'm thinking I want to put the other side of this. Now I could have went Twilight the series, you know, with the werewolves and the vampires. Bella. And is what was her name? What was the little girl's name? Esme or something like that. What did I do with it? I'm thinking on this side. Here's here was my thought. Charlie, no. You're not gonna listen, are you? I have this. I think I'm going to I'm thinking goes crawling back into the corner I think I'm just gonna put it like this in memory of Sharvi what you doing baby I'm so glad, you know, you like the file box back there as your resting area.
Get comfortable, Charlie. What are you doing? any stars anywhere I was thinking I would just put but I don't want to do that Let me look around for a minute. I want to see if I have anything I can put back there. All right, I just cut me out some little stars. This is what it does. It makes like a little border like this. But I'm going to use the stars for our page right here. Let me get my tweezers because some of these are so tiny, teeny tiny. Um, the tinier, the better. Oh, Lord. Lord, help me. goodness oh god the older you get <laughs> the shakier you get oh sorry in my cemetery Maybe if I just dot my page in some places and then place the stars, I would be better off. What do you think? go for one of these little teeny ones and there's even some teenier down here that you can't even see yeah that was a star um how about this guy Wait, I got one more up there more. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Come on. No, no, no. <laughs> it's standing on its point. There. Wait, was that a star? Did I put a star right there? Yes, I did. So there's the back. Here's the other side. I think I'm going to add the rest of the graves to this side too
like the sun was setting on the other side. It hadn't completely set, but it is completely set on this side. again and we all know the corner thingy ain't gonna work there okay I think that's it I'm calling that done Okay, as always, be safe. Don't let the world change your smile. Let your smile change the world. Until tomorrow, bye.